Mechanics of Metal Cutting The force acting on a cutting tool during the process of metal cutting are the fundamental importance in the design of cutting tools. The determination of cutting forces necessary for deformation the work material is essential for several important requirements. To estimate the power requirements of a machine tool, to estimate the straining actions that must be resisted by the machine tool components, bearings, jigs and fixtures, to evaluate the role of various parameters in cutting forces, to evaluate the performance of any new work material, tool material, environment techniques, etc. with respect to machine ability. In the pictures, Px is equal to feed force in the direction of the tool travel. Py is equal to thrust force in the direction perpendicular to the product produced surface. And Pz is equal to cutting force or main force acting in the direction of the cutting velocity. Mechanics of metal cutting. There are two pictures. And from the pictures we can write Px is equal to Pxy sin pi and we can give it as an equation and equation number is 1 and the next equation or equation number 2 is py is equal to p x y cos phi several forces can be defined relative to the orthogonal cutting model based on these forces shear stress coefficient of friction and certain other relationships can be defined Merchant circle diagram or we can say MCD. There are two pictures. The following relationships suggest a circle representation of forces as done by Merchant and indicated in the following figure. Our third equation is R is equal to F plus N that means PS plus PN that means PZ plus PXY. Equation 4 f is equal to px sin gamma naught plus pxy cos gamma naught equation 5 n is equal to pz cos gamma naught minus pxy sin gamma naught equation 6 ps is equal to pz cos beta minus pxy sin beta and equation 7 is pn is equal to pz sin beta plus pxy cos beta and from equation 4 and 5 we can write Viscosity or U is equal to F by N is equal to Pz sin gamma naught plus Pxy cos gamma naught divided by Pz cos gamma naught minus Pxy sin gamma naught and is equal to we can write 10 eta and we can give it as equation 8 where mu is equal to kinetic coefficient of friction and eta is equal to mean angle of friction at the rake surface. Merchant circle diagram or you can say MCD. There is a picture and from the geometry of force relations of MCD circle, we find three different equations. At first, equation 9 is Pz is equal to R cos eta minus gamma naught. Equation 10, Ps is equal to R cos beta plus eta minus gamma naught. And from equation 9 and 10, we can write Pz is equal to Ps multiply cos n minus gamma naught divided by cos beta plus n minus gamma naught and this is equation 11 based on the shear force the shear stress or tau s which acts along the shear plane between the work and the chip is here tau s is equal to ps by as where as is the area of the shear plane and there are three different equations which are equation number 12 13 and 14 Ernest Merchant Theory Ernst and Merchant extended their analysis and studied the relationship between the shear angle and the cutting conditions. They suggested that the shear angle always takes the value that reduces the total energy consumed in cutting to a minimum. Because the total work done in cutting is dependent upon and is a direct function of the component Pz, of the cutting force. They developed an expression for Pz in terms of beta and the constant properties of the workpiece material. 
condition for maximum cutting forces pz we can write dpz divided by d beta is equal to 0 and after calculating we find equation 15 which is beta is equal to pi by 4 minus eta by 2 plus gamma naught by 2 and from 13 and 15 we can write pz is equal to 2 tau s s naught t cot beta